Using Wist, I have created a very interesting application in Webflow. And what this application is doing, we give it the latitude and longitude values and it returns the time zone, the name of that region and the temperature. It also gives us some more information, but we are not using that information. But in your case, if you want to use that information, you can. Uh, so in our case, in this specific case, we are using open weather APIs and what these APIs is doing. So we will be using this um, endpoint URL and what this URL will return. So there you can see. So you will get all this information. So in, in this case, we are just using the city name. We are using we are displaying the time zone and we are displaying the temperature so this is what we are doing right now we are just displaying three values but you can also make use of other values as well and you can make decisions based on those values um, so the first step is you need to create a basic structure in webflow and that structure is like so there are two input fields and each input input field has an attribute so you can give it any name that is that is recognizable and this is another input field that has another attribute so this is a button with an attribute time zone text with attribute city name and the temperature so once we are done with it you just have to publish your site and let's get back to wist so inside wist um you just so click on this this button on the top x-ray and you will see um, that uh, the attributes you added on the webflow side so you can see those attributes there um so we we set the attribute temp to this text field where we will show the temperature and city where we, we where we will show the city name and similarly some other elements there on the page so what's next the next thing is we let's make a request first so inside the request what we will do we will get the values from input fields and we will give it to open weather um, API and that API will return some information and we will use that information um, to make our decisions so in our case we are just displaying that information on specific elements that's it so I have given it a name fetch data and I have connected it with weather API and let's go to the first step first so this is going to be the weather API so give it a name and in my case because weather API is not um, listed there so I just have to select the rest and I put it the URL there that we will hit with some values and it will return some information so once it's done once you have connected your app so the next step is let's make a request so this is going to be um so ju you just have to select your app and this is the request we are making so we i just created two variables there latitude and longitude and this is the value you see we have two input uh, fields on our page and they both are uh, being displayed here 
so this latitude um, i will save the value into the latitude variable and the information we get the value we get on this input field we will save it to the longitude this is the api key so you have to sign up to open weather um, and you have to get your own api key and this is the url and we are just passing those values so this is the latitude this is the longitude along with the api key and then we are just returning this variable from where we call the the api and this variable will return this information you see these these are the results that we get so in the results we get like um so the coordinates are for the lahore city so we get the temperature it feels like pressure humidity so we get a lot of values there and you can also see that how we can use these values this is the representation that we can um, uh, so actually these are the variables that we can use um, um, to display this information okay so once we are done with the request so the next thing we need to set is that when this request is will trigger so i have created an action and that action is like display data so so it is going to be like um get results get results as the okay so when this button is clicked mm -hmm. then we have to yeah so we have to call that event we have to call we have to make a request right so when this button is clicked with an attribute called get results then we have set it like what actions we need to perform so on event when this event happens what event when click event happens so we have to perform a request and what this request is it is the fetch data that we just set there so when this button is clicked so it will make a request and that request will use these values and it will pass to the api and api will return the values so now we just need to display these values on our page so uh, again once we have uh, triggered the request once we get the results now we can display that information on the elements so this is the city name so this is another action give it like city name um, which attribute will be affected yeah the city attribute the element with city attribute and what action so we have to set the text we have to change the text it's the plain text and what the value is the value is very very simple if i just remove it so uh, by default you will see it like this so just click return and just um, select the required information so in in my case it is like so this is the name of the city i just need to display this name that's it so let's close this one and go to the time zone uh, in this case um, what we are doing is in a very similar thing we are just using the name of the variable that contains that information and we are appending it with some text so you can see that by default it is like this just eighteen thousand. um so i'm just using it like um, time zone a space and appending it with this value right and for the temperature so 
the temperature we are getting is having a unit Kelvin. So I'm just converting it into Celsius and then display it on the page. So let's see that how we are doing it here. So this is the value we are getting from the API. We are just um, subtracting minus 273.15 value and then we are converting it to an integer value because we because we get the float with the decimals then we are just converting it so if i just remove this function math floor so let's see that what we get right so we get this this kind of a value 8.01000 so we do not want uh, this value so we need to make it like this remove um, after the decimal remove every digit after the decimal and we are just appending it with some other text that is called temperature celsius that contains this value and then the degree centigrade so this is how we are displaying it on the page so now let's test this app um so if i just go to like um so let's test this location so this is a small town in pakistan let's copy the latitude and the longitude value and get results so yes we get the city name we get the the temperature so this is real time values and this is the time zone um so let's try it with like um london coordinates so make it like 51.50 or let's uh, zoom out this map let's go to united kingdom london and let's get attributes of this tower bridge right click so 51.50 51.50 minus 0 0.07 i'm not sure about the minus values 0 0.07 let's get the results yeah city of london temperature is 11 degree centigrade so you can also get coordinates from other cities like let's go to manchester and let's click um, right click here and get the results so 53.47 53.47 and minus 2.23 minus 2.23 let's get the results so this is the the name of this specific region i guess yeah i'm not sure and if we just search about okay so it it, it should be it should be a town or it should be some block in that city so this is how actually we can make use of um vist to get input values from Webflow, give it to the API and get the results.